All right, and welcome back. Um, after talking about Hellstar, uh, it's time to get to another band. Uh, this band is a very uh, obscured one in a way, but they were on Metal Blade Records, and they definitely are getting some more love uh, within the uh, you know within uh, time. And of course, Metal Blade releasing their box set. Uh, which features their debut album along with some uh, extra stuff and an unreleased album and that band is Thrust yes Thrust definitely uh, were definitely part of the uh, early US power metal uh, scene or genre in a way uh, definitely coming out in 1984 this band definitely had a thrashy sound but it was more uh, kinda close to like Obsession or um, Maybe like Savage Grace. Um, who else I can throw this in next to? Um, shit. Um, damn. Uh, maybe Metal Church. Just somewhere around there. Um, but their debut full length album would be would come in 1984, and it was titled Fist Hell High. Um, this is definitely what was like their only full length album. They had a release before. And it was uh, mostly live music, and it was provided on a split titled Rock for Poland, and it was released in 1982. Uh, this band would also end up being put on, like, Metal Massacre 4 with the song Destructor. Destructor, I mean. Uh, just another great track as well. Uh, but here, they then uh, record a their new album at the time, and their first and uh, of course, they had a different vocalist who was uh, who appeared on the Destructor track on Metal Massacre 4. So, album starts off with uh, Fist, "Fist Held High," which is the title track, raging track in a way, and we start to hear more of this, uh, you know, style of this singer. When I was uh, browsing through, like. Uh, you know, blog spots at the time uh, when I first heard about Thrust was actually through a uh, original guide to Horrible Noise. Uh, though, Horrible Noise, don't uh, d uh, take that uh, with a grain of salt because of that's not what he meant. In a way, in some ways, he kind of meant it a good way because of it was to kind of provide uh, his love for ruckus uh, metal and punk. But when he talked about the sound, he said that. Uh, Brian Sagal and Bill Matroyer had to go over to like Ireland to pretty much uh, capture the fucking uh, Banshee and take it over to the US and put it behind a metal band and pretty much that's what uh, is a pretty good description though to me it's like what if Ron Keel and Dan Beeler had a bastard child this is pretty much uh, a way to describe this guy's uh, a, you know, singing approach. In this trauma, you really do get to hear more of that. Very um, screechy, very uh, just visceral in approach. Uh, but the music right here is very thrashy as well. Got a real good uh, vibe to it. Uh, but of course, sound progressive with Overdrive, which is kind of more of a new wave of British heavy metal sounding song on here. Almost kind of like. Uh, Either Raven, uh, Freedom Fighters, uh, kind of a long track on this one. Uh, this is definitely uh, starting off with the sounds of war, gunshots, and that before going into the riff. Um, just a hard hitting riff. Uh, definitely good track on here. Um, Metallic Attack, another speed metal S track that's very Judas Priest sounding. Harder Than Steel, another great one. Thrasher. Um, definitely good. Uh, Torture Chamber, which is uh, another great track on here as well. Uh, very dark sounding. Um, Poses Will Die ends the album, and um, it's a very rocking track as well. Um, another good track. The whole album's definitely solid. Uh, there really is not a bad song on this album, but at the time, it was definitely good. But this would be like the last album for Thrust. They would record an album in like 1988, but that wouldn't see the light of day until 2015. Uh, so, good. And, of course, the band would then uh, would kind of come back in like 2000, like 2002, 
and released an album then, uh, but this is definitely a good album, uh, and there's definitely a lot more, uh, you know, talk for this album. There's definitely a lot of people uh, talking about this. So, with that, uh, that said, good album. So, um, and of course, when it comes to bands releasing uh, only one album, we're going get, to get to more of those uh, type of bands uh, throughout U.S. Power Metal Month, so... Uh, and of course, this week is kicking that uh, thing off. So, um, if you have heard uh, Thrust's Fist Held High, what are your thoughts? If you have any thoughts, post your comments down below. Until then, this is Heavy Thrashed saying I am out. It's time to get to another band. You're going to be um, definitely want to wait for that. You definitely have to. So stay tuned. This is if you're saying, I am out. And later. Mm -hmm.